Hey, what's up guys? So, uh, this is my iPhone. Nothing special. Um, so I'd assume that a lot of you that have iPhones would have updated to iOS 7. And I'm guessing that a fair number of you, in addition to that, have um, already jailbroken your iPhones. Now, if you haven't and you want to, I've got a video covering the Evasion 7 Untethered Jailbreak. I'll have that as a link in the description. This video specifically is for the few of us that are still using iPhone 4s. Yes, the old guys that were released all the way back in 2010. Now, the thing is, Apple doesn't think that the A4 chip and, well, rather the GPU of the iPhone 4 is able to handle all the uh, blurs and such that they've included in iOS 7. And while, these, while the GPU of the iPhone 4 is definitely nowhere near as powerful as those of the A6 and A7 chips on the new iPhones, that's not to say that this old buddy here is, is not capable of blurs at all. So for those of us that have iPhone 4s, um, regardless of whether it's been jailbroken or not, usually if you use something like, say, Control Center or Notification Center where there is a lot of blurring, you're only going to get kind of this dark color or this solid gray color. Now, me being a stickler for details, I really hated having to look at that. Even though it's just such a tiny issue, I really did not like having to do that when I can see other people with A6 and A7 devices and it handles the blurs beautifully. Now, it appears that jailbreak developers also thought the same thing because there are tweaks out that help fix this. So, check this out. Now, remember that this is an iPhone 4. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and activate Control Center. And as you can see here, there is no solid color. This is a blur from what's behind the control center. So just like it would be on any other iPhone that has this enabled natively, you can see here I do have a real-time blur. I can in fact do the same thing with notification center as well. You can see that it isn't a solid black color. This is showing what's behind notification center as a proper blur. Now as you can see, there is kind of some lag there. Look at that, see? Yeah, so I, rec I think that is why Apple didn't natively enable it for the iPhone 4 because it isn't as smooth. But I mean, I really don't care about how smooth that particular animation is, just as long as it looks awesome when I've got it there. So what I'm going to do is unlock the device and I'm going to show you how you can actually customize the settings for this. So what we need to do is go into Control Center and if you can see at the bottom there, I have this thing called Springboard Settings. That's part of another tweak released by the same developer, a very popular one actually, called Hidden Settings 7, which allows you to turn on a, or rather to edit a bunch of things. Uh, regarding springboard and icons and such that's actually used internally by Apple. So what we do is you need to obviously have this hidden setting 7 tweak uh, in order to be able to access this and then you need to install the parallax enabler tweak and what that does is hide all its settings within this parallax folder and then you can see here down at the bottom, I've got parallax enabler settings. So there are three options here. You've got enable parallax, enable blur, and fastest. So enable parallax is what allows you to, say when you're on the home screen, you can move your iPhone around and because of the accelerometer inside of it, it'll actually move the background behind it. So you can like see behind the icons. And while it is pretty cool, if I enable that on this old iPhone 4 with the blur option, the springboard becomes really, really laggy. So as cool as it is, I turned it off. And also because it's not really that noticeable on such a small 3.5 inch screen, it's natively um, enabled on a device like say my iPad mini. And that's actually really noticeable because it is such a large display. So I've got that turned off. In fact, you can see they're all off even though I've got blur the normal blur enabled. I really don't know why it's done that. So I'm not really gonna play around with these settings. So the second option here is enable blur and that's what I had set initially. So that's what changed it from this solid color for, so, uh, for control center and notification center and made it a real time blur which looks really cool.
Uh, the third option there, fastest, to be honest, I have no idea what that really does because when I started playing around with it, the settings kept on turning themselves on and off and doing some weird things and I had to reach. So I guess the point I'm trying to say is I tried playing around with this third option here and stuff didn't go well. So I do have the blur enabled, but it looks like it isn't. So I'm just going to leave that there. So that's all I wanted to do really. I just wanted to show you that this iPhone 4 is indeed very capable of these really cool looking blurs. And while it does slow it down a little bit, I mean, you know, it's a small uh, a small price to pay in order to be able to get these awesome looking blurs and to get more of that true full iOS experience that we all want. So this was a demonstration of two tweaks really I'd guess, uh, both by the same developer, Devbug, who was also behind the open snow um, tether jailbreak, so props to him again. So the two tweaks in question are called um, hidden settings 7, that's what you need to be, get, be able to get this springboard settings button there. And then the other one you need to get is called Parallax Enabler and that uh, both of these packages can be found in Cydia. They are premium packages, but trust me, from from being able to use my phone like this, like I've wanted it be, uh, like I've wanted to be able to for iOS 7, it is definitely worth it. All right, guys. So I guess that's it for this video. I'll see you all in the next one.